we have reached round three. <laughs> <laughs> it totally is. Yes. We have reached round three. The Moo Man question. <laughs> Needs more raptor! Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting rid of it, folks. So, the uh, Moo Man question is chosen specifically for each debate, and tonight the question is, to be the worst vacation destination, the person that had the best time at their respective destination still had to have had a crappy time. Highlight people who have gotten off easy at your respective destination, and how their life still sucked. So. Let us start with the nerds. Please explain to me how the best person there still had a crappy time. Two minutes, go ahead. So, John Hammond clearly had the best time. I mean, he may have been a bit of an asshole in the books, but in both versions, he's clearly overjoyed to see Jurassic Park made into a reality. I mean, he gets to see kids so happy that they're finally getting to see real dinosaurs. And he even gets to spend some quality time with his grandkids. In fact, he's basically the coolest grandpa ever. No, no, no he's not. No, no, no. Uh, clearly, it was Dr. Grant, okay? I mean, Doc, John Hammond, you know, he sank all his money into a death trap, and then he, in the book, he broke his leg, and then got his yeah. face eaten off by pigeon lizards. But Dr. Grant, he's a paleontologist. He got to see these animals in, their, in the wild, and he, he always saw that childlike glint of wonder in his eye, even when he was being attacked. Uh, uh, let me tell you right there, these animals are, one, not what he was studying, and two, make him entirely irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to dig up some bones? I would if this fucking raptor wasn't eating me right now. <laughs> Tell you what, let's shoot this one and just see how it looks all together. Your job is gone and you're spending the entire time babysitting children whose knowledge of technology is the shape of it. It's a CD-ROM. Other information to follow. <laughs> Malcolm had the best time on the island. Granted, he had the best time because he was a sociopath who wanted to see the world burn. But, as long as you're going onto the island with the intent, hey, wouldn't it be neat if society fell apart, you might have a decent time. No, 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 there's no way Malcolm can have a good time. I mean, he was attacked by a T-Rex in the first book and movie and ended up with a broken leg. And in the second one, he gets attacked by two T-Rexes and a bunch of Velociraptors. I mean, on top of that, he's got to watch out for two kids in the second book, and in the film it's his annoying daughter. And then, just like Grant, after the first Jurassic Park incident, he spent a year in lockup following the incident in the park. And when he got out of it, he was fired from his university job because he didn't stay quiet. He didn't adhere to the NDA. Uh, so he was actually fired. So that post-dinosaur sex was in jail for a year? Yeah. That's appealing. <laughs> yeah. He may be smug, but even he says he hates being right all the time. All right! Let us hear it for the nerds! Woo! Moving right along to the Geeks. Geeks, same question. Who was the person who had the best time on the island and why did it still suck? Go ahead. Okay, so you guys mentioned how the island cleans you up, sobers you up, makes you, you know, well on your way. Yeah, um, remember Charlie, you know, he had a heroin shipment dropped on him when he was supposedly sobered up. The best thing that ever fucking happened to Charlie was that he drowned. And actually, let's look at that, because we have Dr. Grant and Dr. Adler who come out of Jurassic Park with their relationship stronger. They're in that happy glow moment. Whereas, there are people who end up in that happy, strong relationship, everything going, going well, moments and loss, and then one of them dies. <laughs> Saeed and Shannon, Shannon dies. <laughs> Hurley and Libby, Libby dies. <laughs> Soiler and, Sawyer and Juliet, Juliet dies. Sun and Jin, both of them die. Locke and Boone, Boone dies. <laughs> immediately die. And then there's the people who survive the island. Well, what happens to those guys? I mean, come on, that's got to be better than those horrible deaths that the others experience. Well, Ben and Hurley end up being indentured servants to an island whose uh, mechanisms nobody understands, even after six seasons of the show. And then we have the survivors who get away on the plane. There's Frank Lapidus, Sawyer, Kate, Claire, Miles, and Richard. Well, Frank got on the island and got off. Miles got on the island, got to see his dad, and then got off. And Richard gave up immortality to go into a world that he doesn't know. But nobody cares about those characters. So let's talk about the ones that are there from season one. So we got Kate, 
And I think we can all agree that Cage is just fucked. It all went way too far. Yeah, Cage is just fucked. We got about 30 seconds. Uh, I'm wondering where you're going with Cage's Fox. Go Sawyer lived, yes, sir, lived the rest of his life seen, knowing, having that memory of his, the love of his life dying. Claire gets to be a single mom raising her psychic baby. And uh, really, honestly, if lost, if the island lost is therapy, I guess therapy means dying or having your life ruined forever. All right, let us hear it for our peeps. Now here's what makes this debate unique. Normally, round four is who would win in a fight round, but we have a land mass versus a land mass. <laughs> so. Ours is mobile, uh, we win. I love that action. So instead today, we are going to do something a little bit different. The, each team is going to describe, instead of a who would win in a fight scenario, a scenario, a what would your tourism advertisement be like? <laughs> so Team Jurassic Park is going to des describe the island from Lost's advertisement, and the island from Lost is going to describe Jurassic Park's commercial. So we're going to start with the nerds. Please describe a commercial advertising a lovely vacation to the island. You have two minutes. Please begin. Hi, friends. Are you like me? Do you like vacations? You know the worst part of a vacation? The travel time in between destinations. I know what you're thinking. How long is it going to take me to get from my flight to that scenic beach? Well, good news. You might beat the flight there. <laughs> in the woods? Well, we have that in the plenties, in this tropical island paradise. Play golf. Go outside. <laughs> Do you have electronics? They work here. Charge them up. Watch a Red Sox game. Meet others. <laughs> Jurassic Park! Oh, Clever girl. 